<laughs> now listen, this might even inspire the 90 skaters to pick up their boards and go for a skate again. But in the meantime, it's uh, time to chat to our inspired 22-year-old Brandon Faljalo. And now he is the highest ranked skateboarder in Africa. Wow. He's out here to try some tricks for himself. So check this out. Ooh. <laughs> What's up guys, this is Brandon Valjalo. I just got me the new Tony Hawk Pro Skater. So today we're gonna go on inside and try it out. Really hard to open this up and see what's inside. So over here we got the new Tony Hawk game, as well as a signed Tony Hawk Birdhouse Pro Model board. Super excited about this, super rad. Let's go check out the game. I'm gonna try to do the tricks in the game and replicate them in real life in my backyard skate park. Here we go. Oh, let's hope I don't do that in real life. I'm trying to make them a little bit realistic for me to be able to do outside, but I'm thinking of doing a front side indie grab, a front side flip, a front side board slide, a back side crooked grind. Crook. Oh, and an impossible. All right, it's time to put these tricks down in real life. All right, so first off, I'm gonna try the front side kick flip. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do the back foot impossible. Oh! There we go. Maybe better in the game. I'm gonna do the front side board slide. Oh! Hopefully get it faster than I did in the game. Front side indie. <laughs> Blasted it almost as high, but I doubt it. Basically, I'm gonna do the backside crooked grind. Oh! You know, we had a good time skating, had fun. I thought I had to put more effort in playing Tony Hawk Pro Skater. The game got me on T. I think maybe I need to put more effort in actually skateboarding. Cool. Also, I just got reminded of why I stopped skateboarding. Did you right. see the hits he was taking? I can't believe that people do those moves in real life. Well, Brandon joins us via video call right now. What's up, dude? What's up, bro? <laughs> How's it, guys? How are you doing? Oh, We're so all good, good so man. Good. Really excited to have you here on Bra the show. I I've got to ask, that skate park, is that in your backyard? Yeah, so no it's in my way. backyard, literally <laughs> two seconds down the driveway and then I'm on my skate park, so oh, yeah, yeah, that's pretty much where I skate every single day. <laughs> every kid has just been like, Mom, I want to be like Brandon. You <laughs> Give need me a skate park right <laughs> now in the backyard. You are ranked number one in South Africa and in Africa. How did you even get started with skateboarding? Um, so I started when I was around three years old. It was because my dad and my older brother used to skate back in the day. So um, it was always in the garage. It was always a thing that we did in our family. It was more of a hobby in the beginning. Mm -hmm. And then it became like a little bit of a bigger thing for me because I, I used to watch Life of Ryan on TV with my mom. And I was like, Mom, I want to be a professional skateboarder. And she was like, OK, cool. Well, I'll be your manager one day, just like Ryan Sheckler's mom is his manager. And she was like, it's like OK, mom, that's our plan for the future. Let's do it. And today we made it a reality. It's oh. actually pretty crazy to me. No ways. What an absolute legend. Your mom's also a legend too, so shout out to her, man, Brandon. But listen, yep, shout fast... out to the mom and <laughs> I love that. Now listen, That's fast right. forward all these years from the age of three when you're supposed to be learning how to walk. We come through to 2020 where it's supposed to be one of the biggest years for mm. you now with the introduction of skateboarding at the Tokyo Olympics. Of course, I know you were frothing, but lockdown happened. Mm. So man, I gotta ask, how did this affect you and obviously your preparation for next year when you appear on that global stage? What's gonna happen and, and, and what does this all entail for you? So I feel like the whole lockdown situation and the postponement of the Olympic Games has definitely been more of a benefit for me because I've had the skate park in my backyard. I've been able to train every single day. Mm. I've been able to get more ready and more prepared for 2021. And I feel like with more preparation, I'll be ready to, to try to bring back that gold medal. Oh. Don't ever give up the hope. Don't ever give up the dream. Go out there and fly the South African flag high. But tell us about the work that goes behind, you know, qualifying for the Olympics. 
Um, so pretty much there was a whole Olympic competition circuit that I would travel all around the world to go compete in. Mm-hmm. And I was very, 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 very competitive with all of the best skateboarders from around the world. And we all came together and we competing in the street skateboarding circuit. So I feel like the traveling and it definitely takes a toll on your body because it's different environments, different food that you're eating. You're not really in a routine that you can train and be like comfortable And at the end of the day, it definitely takes a strain on your body with the whole impact that skateboarding has. So you have to make sure you manage stretching, taking care of your body, staying fit, eating healthily. And that's pretty much the behind the scenes. And then it's all the practice that you've been practicing and you just got to put it to work and make sure that you make it count when it really matters. Oh, so cool, man. Like an absolute pro as well, man. Brandon, it's been an absolute pleasure chatting to the studio, man, and wishing you so, so much luck and all the best for next year, brother. Thank you. Cool. Thank you guys so much for having me. <laughs> oh man, that is SA's skateboarding wonder kid and an Olympic hopeful, Brandon Faljalo. What a legend, man. Thank you so much. And I'm sure it's inspired a lot of you at home. So don't give up on your dreams. Keep pushing, keep chasing. <laughs> it's happening right now. <laughs>